Well, U.S. President Barack Obama's Affordable Care Act received another legal setback. Federal Judge Ronald White ruled that subsidies in the form of tax credits apply only to consumers in the 14 states that set up insurance marketplaces. The state of Oklahoma brought the lawsuit. Thomas Miller is a resident fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a co-author of Why Obamacare is Wrong for America. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Welcome to the show. Pleasure to be with you. Do me a favor. Can you explain this legal ruling now in layman's terms? Because I still don't quite seem to understand it. What, explain it to us. Okay. Be very straightforward. Congress passed a law. Uh, the administration has tried to say it's something other than the language in the law. Uh, it's been implemented on that basis. There was an Internal Revenue Service rule which facilitated this, which basically said there are two types of exchanges under the law, a federal established exchange and a state established exchange. The text of the law says you can only get premium assistance tax credits to pay for your insurance or subsidy uh, in a uh, exchange established by a state under one section of the law. The IRS rule says it's okay to do that with the federal exchanges established under another section of the law. Not a matter of constitutional law, just a matter of interpreting the statute as written. It was passed in a hurry. There were a lot of mistakes made along the way back about four years ago. So the district court judge in Oklahoma uh, finally resolved the case, which was first filed in September of 2012, challenging this IRS rule, which basically the, his judgment means that you will not receive tax credit subsidies uh, for buying insurance in a federal exchange in Oklahoma because the state refused or decided not to have one. There are other cases going on. Some of them have ruled differently. Ultimately, this will be resolved by the Supreme Court. We don't know how soon that will happen now. All right. Well, this has been a roller coaster ride with Obamacare altogether here, but there are certainly to be appeals to this, don't you think? Yes, there'll be an appeal from this uh, Oklahoma decision to what's called the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. There are already other appeals underway. Two appellate courts also have ruled on this issue. In the D.C. Circuit, the ruling last July was that the uh, exchanges, the tax credits were not uh, authorized or legal in federal exchanges. That's already being reheard by the full D.C. Circuit, the full panel of judges, not just the normal three-judge panel. There's another case in the Fourth Circuit which ruled in the opposite direction, but in that case, the folks challenging the rule are appealing to the Supreme Court. It's discretionary as whether the Supreme Court takes up that uh, decision for full review later this fall. Uh, and there's another case being brought in Indiana, right. which is a similar challenge. You know, Tom, I worked on Capitol Hill for a couple of years. I remember Congressman Ed Towns, who was the chair of the Oversight Government Reform Committee before ISIL. Uh, ISA said that, you know, look, when Social Security came around, it wasn't a perfect bill, but, you know, there was room to work on it. It seems like everything now is in legalese uh, and there's all this fighting over it. Why can't lawmakers work on this as opposed to uh, just doing all this legal challenge to every single thing uh, and the Affordable Care Act? Well, I agree with you. In normal times, it should be done that way. What happened was this law was rammed through at the last minute with just enough votes to spare and they couldn't make any changes in it or clean it up when it was passed in March of 2010. It was a partisan exercise on both sides. Since then, we've been somewhat frozen in Congress to not make any changes in either direction. One of the positive things of resolving this legal issue and perhaps saying Congress can't or the administration can't have a different law than the one Congress passed is it'll force both sides to come back and compromise and actually negotiate something that the broader American public can live with. This law is pretty unpopular by most public opinion surveys. Well, I guess it depends on what polls you're looking at here, but they're trying to strip it down to the bone. But nevertheless, I guess this is a fight that will continue. Tom Miller, thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. All right.